Hello and welcome, 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 one and all, big and tall, little and small. Welcome to my page, Follow Me Darling. I am Edie. And today, we will be planting seeds to start seedlings inside because spring is right around the corner. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm doing something different this year when it comes to planting seeds. Um, starting my seeds inside, I should say. I got a new setup. Um, I ordered um, some grow lights that I'll show you later. I ordered some grow lights that I will show you later on. Um, and I ordered a heating mat for my peppers because... The soil has to be warm, and that is where I failed in the past. I just tried to make sure it was warm enough um, in that area, but that's not good for seedlings inside. They need the warmth of the grow mat. So, I got one. And today, uh-oh, I will be starting my peppers. peppers together. Okay. We have the jalapeno pepper. There we go. And we have the Thai hot pepper. The sweet banana pepper. The Serrano Chili, the Shishito Pepper, and the two that I am excited about. I don't know how to pronounce it this way, but the most common name for it is Ghost Pepper. We got the ghost pepper. And the Carolina Reaper. <coughs> and we have the sweet purple beauty. And I couldn't find my early California wonders. So, whenever I find that pack of seeds, I'll be planting those, too. Uh, but for now, we have these one, two, I think it's seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, not, no, seven, because that's double. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have seven. So, let's get started. I also forgot, I will also be um, showing you some seeds that need to soak. I will be planting loofah again this year, but um, I have a better understanding of it this year, so hopefully I will get some loofah this year. The vine grew all over the place, and I did see flowers, but I didn't get any loofah. And the um, ants around here, the sugar ants, just killed every blossom um, that came up. But those need to soak 24 hours before I um, plant them. And also, I have, I have two packs because um, I only have five seeds left in here. But I also have the New Zealand spinach. And you have to soak these 24 hours. Um... I planted these last year, last fall, because you can plant them spring or fall. And these didn't get to grow because they were in a bed um, close to uh, my neighbor's fence line, our, the shared fence line. The shared fence on the property line, however it said. Anyway, um, her yard person sprayed roundup on the fence to kill the vines growing on the fence but he didn't do it um, in a direction where it would just hit her fence and go onto her property he sprayed from her property onto our property and it got into 
my raised bed and so therefore I had to empty everything out of that bed because nothing one nothing was growing but two it had been poisoned so I had to put, remove all of the dirt um, so I didn't get to see these grow last year and my seeds that I'm using um, the main seeds that I'm using I get some from the Dollar Tree when they're on this on sale but for the most part, I get my seeds from um, in my gardener. Who are these from? These are from Seeds Now. And these are from Baker Creek. And there, I'll leave links down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, I really like the products that I've gotten from these companies. Um, they're heirloom, they're GMO free, what else, what else do we have? Um, they're non-GMO, heirloom seeds, and, and Baker Creek will send you a catalog for free. Um, you go to their website, and I like that about them. And my gardener, his seeds are 99 cents. Um, for the most part, they, he has some things that are more than 99 cents, but a majority of his seeds are 99 cents and he lets you know how many seeds are approximately how many seeds are in each packet if it's um, tiny seeds that's why I say approximately but like larger seeds like the loofah it tells you 20 seeds um, and his information will be down below and who else did I say and I like seeds now because I like their little packets and they give you information like everything else, like everyone else, but it's just precise and you can see how many seeds you have left. Okay. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, I forgot her. How can I forget her? Because I love her seeds too. And that's Callie Kim. And these are some of the seeds I got from her that I will be planting later. Not this session, but next session. And her her seeds, um, these are fall and winter. These are spring, summer. Can you tell how I know? <laughs> but um, I like her seeds too because she puts them in um, groups. Because I have several. And I purchased together. Like she has her warm pollinator seeds. Her heat um, tolerant packet of seeds. Um, fall planting seeds. Her... You can have salt. It's, I just love her site. And she just takes some of the guesswork out of it for you. Like, what can I plant that will tolerate this hot southern heat and humidity? So, okay. Now to the peppers. Okay, so. I have some potting mix already mixed up. Today, I am using Jiffy. Can you see that? There we go. I'm using Jiffy, their natural and organic mix. Um, I've used them in the past. I do like them. I also have used Burpee. I couldn't find it. Um, at the store I was at. I might have been overlooking. But I mixed water with this. And you want to make sure it's almost the consistency of like. What is this? The consist it's crumbling. Like dough that needs water and it just crumbles. the water but you can hear it in my tray oh I ordered these and I love them because they fit this tray holds the water and this doesn't go this tray doesn't go all the way down in it so that the seeds well the dirt this tray won't what am I trying to say this the tray that's going to hold the dirt and seeds won't sit in water. And so I like that. 
So uh, it's the less likelihood that I'll suffer from root rot because they won't be sitting. The tray won't sit in water. The, fill these up. Now, I will be using some other seed mix, seed starter mix this year to see which one I like the best. So this is the first round of seeds with the Jiffy. When the other, I had to order the other um, starter mixes. And when they get in, that's when I'll plant some of the other seeds, like my herbs and flowers. Okay. You want to make sure this is pat down some because you want the dirt to fill. You don't want any air pockets. So you want the dirt to fill each cell. Make sure they're full. That's where I've messed up in the past. I didn't make sure that the cells were completely full and there weren't any air pockets in that's not good. When the roots come in contact with the air, they'll die. They'll stop growing. Um, and that's not what you want. You want healthy a healthy root system so that you'll have a healthy plant and therefore you will have a healthy harvest. Well, that's part of it. Having a good harvest and healthy harvest. I'm really making a mess. That probably has a broom. Okay. Just don't want to cooperate. I'm gonna need you to cooperate. There we go. Okay, so now you can make notes uh, down in keep a little journal. Keep a journal because this is literally little. That's why I said little journal. But you want to keep a journal. Um, let me fix my camera. So. You want to keep a journal of what you're planting so that you'll know when you started your seedlings, what you planted, um, and you can even make notes of how long it took, what your um, success rate was. Um, this is the first year that I am really taking a note, like writing down what I planted before I just um, would plant and 
write down on my tab, this is what's here. This is, and just, um, that was it. But now, I'm trying to be a little bit more thorough. So, I'm going to go get some uh, gloves. Not that kind, but gloves to handle the hot peppers, their seeds. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing with these. When I harvest them, I'll be wearing disposable gloves. Yeah. I'm not playing. Okay, so first, I'm going to fluff it up a little. Like... We've been having rainy weeks down here in the, in Alabama. So. Everything is saturated. The ground is saturated. Our river is high. Really high. Our waterfall is really high. It's rushing. Got footage of that that I will be posting later. I'm just fluffing the dirt up some. I know it seems weird that I'm packing it down and then fluffing it up, but I'm making sure that there are no air pockets at the bottom. And I'm just fluffing, go ahead, fluffing it up. Just want to make sure there's enough dirt in there. Get some of this side dirt. Dirt that fell on the sideline. Because the Okay, so first we have the Carolina Reaper. I'm going to write that down. Double checking because I was like, it's 50, right? And I have 50 sales. And I'm debating. This glue is. I'm debating if I want to plant more than five. Make sure I'm planning the death right. Yeah, one fourth. Okay. Two per sale. And the seat doesn't go down like I want. You can push it with a toothpick. You want to make sure you pat it down, cover it firmly with dirt, but these need to be one-fourth deep, one-fourth inch deep. One-fourth of an inch deep. Pat it down. 
firmly. Make sure there are no air pockets. I think I'm going to do two rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I have enough to do? Okay. I'm going to save these seeds. I'm going to do one row. Because if I do two rows, I'm going to do another row later. So I'll mark it. I'm double checking, making sure I didn't get sidetracked because I do that. I'll get sidetracked. But I know it was only a few seeds. So I put two per cell. That's ten. And I think I saw seven in there. And I think I was only supposed to get ten seeds. Ten or twenty. For the Carolina Reaper. So I'm going to wait before I plant some more. Something is telling me to go ahead. Think long, think wrong. I'm follow my first mind. And just plant. The rest of these. Okay. But I will be saving this envelope. Okay. So the first cell has two seeds. And the last cell has two seeds. And the three cells in the middle have one seed. Uh oh. Get in there. Next, we have the ghost pepper. So, I'm going to write down my ghost pepper. And I don't know how to pronounce B H U T but J O L O K I A Jolokia but Jolokia or boot Count these real quick to see if I should plant two, four, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. So I'm going to plant all these, and that's going to be two rows.
hard with these gloves but and no seeds can carry heat and you rub your eye one time after dealing with these bad bitties you'll be You'll take precautions too. So that's one. There it is. Back there, heat. I hear something and I'm trying to figure out what it is because I'm like, is that rain or a cat scratching on the door? And now I'm remembering that my cat is inside. But it could be Fluffy, the stray cat that adopted me as a human. That seat didn't go down. Now it's covered. Okay, that's covered and marked. Okay. Saving this one too. So next, we have the Serrano Chili. No, next. I'm going to save these for later. I'm going to do it in that order. I'm going to do the shishito pepper. tried to grow these last year. I was unsuccessful. Like I said, I didn't have a mat to keep the dirt warm. And so they didn't the seeds didn't germinate. And so I didn't get any peppers. And you might be wondering why I planted so many of the Carolina Reaper and the Ghost Peppers. But, um, I already have a customer for my harvest. 
So I want to make sure that I don't disappoint. Because um, I can always order more. Knock on wood. I can always order more seeds. But I can't order more time. So, time is money. <coughs> so, getting these done, getting seeds in the ground, well, getting seeds started and seedlings planted is top priority right now. So that I can fill my orders. Um, because this gentleman eats peppers so I'm told and he likes hot peppers so hey he's looking forward to this so can't disappoint next I'm going to plant the purple beauty pepper and it's a sweet pepper I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. Uh oh. Better be careful not to drop my seeds. But this. Uh oh. I'll do two for sale. I could tell how many. I can take these gloves off now. But I still have some. Well, they're not as hot as. Their Scoville isn't as high. The other hot peppers that I'll be planting. But I don't know if it was a mental thing. Or reality. But I felt like I could feel. I felt like I could. I don't know if it was a mental thing or what, but I felt like I could feel the heat from the seeds. So, I'm glad I had the gloves on. Okay, back to our regular schedule. Uh-oh. Okay, so that seed is all over. I'm trying to get it in the middle. Uh oh. Oh, come back. There we go. You want to make sure that you plant the seeds at the depth required because the seeds, the seedling that will develop, first use the seed as its food, what's inside the seed as its food. And so, if you um, plant it too deep, it might run out of energy before it breaks through. Okay, 
So this is the Thai hot pepper. Once again, I'm planting two seeds per cell. Okay. And then I'm just using my toothpick to push the seeds down a little, not too far. Just under the surface of the dirt, and then patting it down. And I'm just trying to make sure the seeds aren't right on the edge, right on the edge of the cell, trying to move it more towards the center. There's the Thai. Thai pepper. And next we will have the Serrano chili. You know what? I'll do the chili last. I'm going to do the jalapeno pepper. in it. It's got two seeds in it. Alright. Looks like it might be more than two seeds. Three seeds. No, four seeds. So I'm going to put two here. Do here. Mm. Put three in that one. Put three in this one. I'm gonna do three for these. Something's telling me I should plant three seeds, so I'm gonna plant three seeds. Oh, jalapeno. Next we're going to do the sweet banana pepper. Excuse me. 
that's got three. I think that one was three. One, two. One, two. Now what? Might as well. Chili. It's the chili pepper. My chin itches and I realize I'm not on camera so y'all can't see what I'm doing. Just my hands. Okay. like I'm missing some seeds but then I just might have used them last year one two three four two three I'm putting three in these two because uh -oh. I don't know the germination rate for these. So. And what I mean is, I don't know um, how successful the seeds are. It's a high germination rate if 90% of the time the seeds will germinate or 50%, 80%. And there we go. My Serrano. I ordered a mat this year for my pepper seedlings. Um, and any other seedlings that will do better with warm soil. Um, that need warm soil to germinate. Um, normal than what would happen with the um, grow lights. They need a thorough warm but this is what the heat mat looks like that I ordered. I just pulled it out the box. So, I will plug this up and put the seedlings on this and um, put the tray, seed tray, on top of this and then um, have grow lights on it. And they will sit under the grow lights for 16 hours a day with 8 hours of rest um, because seeds need rest seedlings need rest that's when they do a major part of their growing so um, <clears throat> excuse me so that keeps your plants from being stressed out as well when you give them some dark time so yeah but once the seeds germinate once they pop up break through the soil, um, they won't need this anymore. And I might start another round of seeds. Now I am going to take this. Is that better? The seeds that I am going to soak for over 24 hours. My New Zealand Finish. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Ten. <coughs> I'm going to do 
10 for now. And yes, I'm wondering if I should do more. I'll do 20. <coughs> Excuse me. For the loofah, there were only 20 in here. And last year, I think I planted 10. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 8. That didn't work. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, oh, seventeen. I thought I planted more than three. Because I thought I planted some at my parents. But anyway. I'll get down. Anyway. Even though I thought I planted more loofah last year, and apparently I only planted three. I'm going to plant more this year. So... I think I'm going to plant eight. No. One, two, three. I'll do five this year. But if the germination rate, because these are from last year, one, two, three, four, five, I'll do eight. And just going to cover them with water. I'm going to put a little more water in there. Well, this has more seeds in it. Larger seeds, too. So, I am going to let those seeds soak for 24 hours, minimum. Um, and, pl and put them in potting soil sometime tomorrow. And if I don't get a chance tomorrow, Saturday. I'll do it Saturday because today's Thursday. And I have an event tomorrow. And I've got something on my glasses. Um, I've got dirt on my glasses. So I am excited about this year's planting season. I am looking at these New Zealand spinach. I'm excited about it because I just am. I don't know. It's something about the seed. The seed I didn't show you all the seed. And I'm looking around because now I don't have my glasses on because I'm wiping them. Seed. Look at this seed. It's huge. You see that? That's a spinach seed. What can I compare it to? Because we all know what peppers look like. I'm gonna, one of the sweet peppers. And that seed isn't as big as some of the seeds that I put in to soak. And then I dropped it. <laughs> uh-uh, wrong way. Put my glasses back on and my hair. But you see that seed? And you see this seed. You see the two? Uh-oh. You see them? That is a huge, that's a big seed. So that is why I'm excited. I guess part of the reason why I'm excited about growing. Growing the New Zealand spinach. 
<clears throat> and I'm in, very interested in the flavor of the spinach. I just want to see what it tastes like. Um, last year, I did Malabar spinach. And it was delicious. And it was it's beautiful. Um, I'll be planning that again this year. So y'all get to see that. But it vines up our... I had it trellising up, so I'm excited about that because I've got red Malabar and green. So I'll be planting that this year. So we'll be starting those seedlings soon as well. So I'm so thankful for you watching. It might have been a little boring, but I love this and I think it's exciting. And I watch gardening videos all the time and just watch them plant seeds and mix dirt and prune. And it's just all you learn. You learn by watching and doing. So thank you for following me on my adventure for today. Until next time, please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.